And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a program on Mac called Mini Pro. And Mini Pro allows us to use this TL8662 Plus programmer to put the correct files on the correct EEPROMs. And that's electronically erasable, programmable, read-only memories. The original ones are EEPROMs, where you'd have to run them through a UV light in order to erase them, but we don't have to do that with these. So the first thing we're going to do, this is going to be our operating system. Now this chip has more pins than the original, but it doesn't matter because it still has the same pinout as the original. And it's also, it can, it has more storage on it than the original, but that also doesn't matter because everything being written on this chip is going to be in the lower half of the chip and the H3000 will never be accessing the upper half of the chip. So it just doesn't matter. So I'm going to put this in our programmer and I'm going to type in a command. I'm going to type in mini pro, specify the device as W27, oops, 27C010. I'm going to do write and then I'm going to go to our ROM1. I'm going to click this and drag it over here and I'm going to hit enter. Incorrect file size. Oops. Okay, so um, because the file size is half as small as what the chip actually can provide, we have to let it know that we are okay with that. So it is. It erased it, and now it's writing the code. It wrote the code. It verified okay. So now we're going to go ahead and take this chip out, and then we're going to put it in this socket. Perfect. Now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to use these chips.